Hello everyone, how are you? So today a person was requesting how do you add home movies like personal videos or family, your kids, etc. Maybe you've done it from your iPhone or whatever the case is. How do you add that to Plex? So basically it's the same sense of creating the library folder uh, in your Plex directory. Uh, but the so like say for an example there is this video here uh, once it's copied to your computer Mac or PC let me shrink it so it's playing under VLC player let me get out of my ride with the 360 camera I have here and say you wanted to put this I'm just recording a sound beneath my car look at all that snow Anyways, uh, if you wanted to play this on your Plex, how would you do it? So, first you need to create the library in your uh, Plex server. Either that's locally on your computer, on a Synology, on another computer, wherever it's hosted at. So, when you go to that library, so like this is my directory. So, I already created the folder called Home Movies and I move that specific video or file in here. Now it has some random name to it, but don't worry about it. Uh, Plex will understand it. Now, if you want to name it specifically, like this is, uh, so here, let's do, let's do a copy of this. And let's do a paste here somewhere. Windows 11 is kind of weird, but yeah. Um, so what's going to happen is, okay, there's a copy. So we'll just say this is uh, under car, we'll call it. Okay, so there's two different files or two different names of the same file. It doesn't really matter. You can do subfolders and et cetera, however you want, however you please. So we're going to minimize that. We're going to open up your Plex. So basically under more, so this is my Plex library everything I ripped off my old DVDs and so forth so if you wanted to add home movies here okay so your home movies what you would have to go to is under your account go select under account setting under libraries you want to go ahead and select on add library and then here you want to make sure you select on other videos because if you select on movies TV shows music photos well actually if you select any of these three here movies TV shows music it's going to look through like uh, internet movie database and all the other databases off the internet and it's never going to find it, it's never going to see your physical home video that you took from a VC, uh, a VHS, a beta, whatever, camcorder, uh, your iPhone, etc. So it's not going to be able to read those files because it's going to try to link it to the, to the, the internet. Photos, well photos is like your Apple photo library. You can just put it here and then everybody can see it, but yeah, sorry, I'd rather just do a different server on that. Uh, other videos, so other videos. Now if, now if you're sharing your Plex media stuff with other random individuals and you put other videos in here as well and those individuals are seeing your personal life. So maybe you probably don't wanna do that. Uh, just create another server. Uh, and you can create as many servers as you want. So you select on other videos. Other videos, it's called, we'll just call it uh, Home Videos. Doesn't really matter what it is. Uh, then you go to Next, or you select Add Folders, Browse to the Folder. So the folder is under My Volume, under Plex Server, and then it's under Home Movies. So that's the folder. You can see there's Under Car, and then there's this Vid. So I'm gonna hit Add. And then we're going to hit add a library again. No need or uh, reason for you to touch advance. You can leave it as it is. It uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, but what it'll do, it'll play trailers in front of your, your video clip. That you, If you don't want those trailers, then you can just uncheck it. Uh, there's a video preview thumbnails. It doesn't really matter. So just hit add library. Okay, so where is it in here somewhere? Home videos, it's on the bottom here, but uh, it may put it in like an alphabetical order. So what you do is go back to your home, under your home, see there's home videos right there. You can find it here, so when I click this, you should be able to see that video, and there's that video. Now you're wondering where is that car one? 
So this is the recommended. So you want to select on library. Uh, and then it still shows only the video. So let's see. I think it's here. Get info. Oh, no, split apart. Because I think it recognizes the video to be both the same, so it merges it. So you want to say split, yes, and then there's the other one. So there's one that's under car and the other one is regular. Um, not sure which is which. I don't know why it did not change it. Oh, you know why it didn't change it? Because the file name. So when you do the file name in the folder structure, doesn't bring it over here. So what you have to do here, you have to go to get info for that specific video. Uh, no, no, I'm sorry, not get video. It was, um, it's actually right here, sorry. The pencil. Now in here, you can go ahead and type in under car if you want. And then just rename them for, so, so like if it's your kids or whatever uh, family member meeting event you can put the original title the edition what was the date etc this was this was on the 23rd uh, it should be able to bring up whatever information that reads off that meta tag of that file and then you hit save and there you go now you have undercar so now i can click on this one and it sh shows me doing the same thing which I just showed you a moment ago. And then you can hit exit on this and then say this one here and the same thing. So you get that and plus all the audio that goes through and so forth. So that's basically how to create your home videos uh, folder structure uh, and then add it to Plex. And now anyone who has access to Plex will be able to click on home videos and they'll be able to see whatever videos you have here. Could be personal, private, or open to the public, or maybe, I don't know, you have car tips or et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so, yeah. And then if you want to get rid of it, if you don't want it at all, there is no way to select it as, uh, as, um, as a private. What you could do, so this is the, man, uh, these are all the, people are viewing my library. So we'll just say this battle F2, whoever that is. You can go here, manage library access, no shared, and then you can say, you want all libraries, or you just want like, hey, my family member in California, I just want them to see home videos. And you hit save and they only see home videos. That's all they see. So yeah, that's another way how you can restrict to only allow certain people see the, the folder structure. But now if you had 20 or 30 of these check marks, then you gotta do, you gotta uncheck or recheck whoever it is and go from there. All right, so hopefully this video helps you out in the direction of how to add home videos. Uh, if you have any more questions or comments, feel free to put them down below. This is a uh, video was made for Larry Jasper. He uh, placed a comment on my video on how to fix the server showing uh, naming files. Uh, and uh, just like how I edit that naming file for Undercar, it's kind of similar, but it's using a different program. All right, well, thank you for visiting and feel free to subscribe. We greatly appreciate it. Have a great day.